so that the first criteria of the 20 to 25 sub-counties to be operationalized this financial year starting June will be um, will take care of regions, but also hardship, size, population, and all the other factors. We'll come up with a criteria which will be fair and which can be shared to members if they want to know what criteria we will use to identify those that will come first and then second and then the third, um, the third financial year. Honorable Speaker, I can also report to the House that areas where assistant chiefs and chiefs have not been recruited, my PS for internal security uh, has already approved the recruitment process and therefore we expect all those positions to be filled in the next 90 days across the country. Uh, Honorable Speaker, then I think um, again a question was asked between technology and what we are doing in the old fashion. Going forward, before cabinet is a policy brief, is a cabinet brief which is under consideration uh, on the UPI, the universal personal identifier. And I think in the next one or two weeks it will be disposed of so that we migrate, uh, we converge two things. One, that every child in Kenya gets a universal personal identifier at birth, which becomes their, their number in school, their whatever number they require. And when they are 18, that number is the ID number. Then at the same time, and in parallel, another universal personal identifier for adults who are getting IDs. So you have a universal personal identifier at birth and for the existing, because that one, by the time the first adult will use the UPI, it will be 18 years from when we commence. But in the meantime, we are migrating, we are considering subject to approval by cabinet, migrating the current ID we have into a fourth generation ID which is the UPI for adults, uh, which, which of course will take away the question of Uduma number, which was not solving the kind of problems that we intend to solve. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.